What is it? Welcome to the Guild Hall, Knowledge Seeker. What brings you here today? Ah, good. We're always on the lookout for new members. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Perhaps you'd like to join. We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The Guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. We are neutral in the war between the three alliances. While many of us here in Bulkelgard hold true to the Eagle Banner, when we're on guild business, we kneel to no king or queen. That's why you'll see members of every race in our halls. We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the guildmaster himself. Vanos Galerian, one of the founding members of this august body, still holds the proud title of Guildmaster, overseeing every guild hall in Tamriel. He works with other ranking members, such as Tellinger the Artificer, to ensure our future success. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the guild. I suggest you begin by talking to Velast, our mistress of Incunabula. She often has tasks for new recruits. Good luck. Yes, that's just in line with the third law of Arcano Dynamics. Excellent. Well met, Adept. I believe I may have a task for you. New members of the lifeblood of the Mages Guild, especially for retrieval missions. I've received word about a possible store of ancient knowledge in a ruin nearby. I'd like you to retrieve it for me. To the north of the city lies the ruin known as Ondal. If you please, investigate the ruin and bring back any interesting books you can find. The ruins of Ondil are a dark and dangerous place. Tread carefully, Adept. I don't know. It's always a delicious mystery cracking open a book for the first time. They could be anything from ancient recipes for stew to high arcana, even racy journals penned by elven poets. We have ears everywhere, Adept. An intelligence report fell into my hands that mentioned these tones. We are neutral in the war for Cyrodiil, and proud of it. That doesn't mean we don't take an interest when the eyes of the Queen notice something. The intelligence arm of the Old Mary Dominion, personally loyal to Her Majesty Queen Irene. My understanding is that many of their members used to adventure with Her Highness during her wild days. I am the master of Incanabula, the keeper of tomes. I've come here to inspect the local Arcaneum, the guild's library. I've dedicated my life to expanding our guild's knowledge. Standards must be kept.
Greetings. Summon the blood sacrifice. When Cold Harbor calls, Nern obeys.
Well done! I am Shalador, young one, and I think Return you'll that do nicely. The lost. Tell her fire will show her the words.
Were you successful? Do you have the tomes? Well done. You're already proving your worth to the guild. Sorry, did you say strange? What happened? Shalador? Labyrinthian's father, the spell mirror's forger. Are you speaking truly? And, uh, this book's pages are blank. Why is it glowing? The spell rites of the first era used a special ink that would remain invisible until immersed in arcane fire. Perhaps that's what he meant. We have a brazier nearby burning with such a fire. Let's see what the flames reveal. Cast the book into the arcane fire. Fear not, the pages will not burn. Shaldor was the most famous archmage of the first era. His dedication to spellcraft and his commitment to research were unmatched by any before or since. Most mages revere him, though he does have his critics. What has the fire revealed? Complex indeed. Much of this is beyond my understanding, but here, this one is an attunement spell. We can summon Archmage Shalador himself. We'll need some ritual orbs. They'll focus your magicka, attune your life energies, and draw him to this place. The ritual will apparently also link your mind with his. It means that the Archmage will be able to guide you and speak to you whenever he chooses. Are you ready to begin? To the center. First, we attune your spirit to Shalador's. Ready. When you're set, use the orb before you. Right in choosing you. I can sense. Yes. The aura around you glows with good fortune. You will be the one to help me complete my final task. What I hope to accomplish is difficult. Perhaps impossible. It will require great strength of spirit. I sense this strength in you. That is what drew us together in the ruins. A storm rages towards us, Adept. War has come to Tamriel, and the mages of this great guild must have quarter. I intend to offer them a safe haven, a sanctuary where they may study in peace. I created that sanctuary centuries ago. It was stolen from me by an agent of chaos and magically transported to the Shivering Isles. To recover the island, we must locate four hidden tomes. This is the task of which I speak. They are being held in the place known as Cheesemonger's Hollow. It is a realm of the mad god, Sheogorath. Stand by my side, and I will open a portal. Be careful. Sheogorath is not to be taken lightly. I lost the sanctuary because of his nimble tongue and mad stare. He's known as the Daedric Prince of Madness, the Mad God. 
The Dunmer call him one of their four corners of the House of Troubles, and he's earned the title a thousandfold. Yes, an example of Sheol Gorath's humor. There are those that find his madness amusing. I am not one of those people. The Mad God would just as soon serve you an aged cheddar as he would flay the skin from your bones. Remember that. Don't take him too lightly. Madness comes in many forms. Sheil Gorath encompasses them all. He rules the Shivering Isles, but often takes an active interest in our world. That usually doesn't end well. To protect my legacy, while this guild was... After my time, I accomplished much in Tamriel. I founded schools of magic, oversaw the construction of the Great Maze, and bore my spell mirror into battle. I know it. I laid powerful enchantments on my final resting place. When my legacy is threatened, I'm drawn back from Aetherius. My presence here is proof enough. The Three Banners' War is a threat to every mage in Tamriel. I won't waste my time recounting his antics. Suffice it to say, he got the better of me. Bets were made, wagers were lost, and my sanctuary, Ibea, was pulled into his realm. My apprentices screaming all the while. <laughs> 